you know, there's no such thing as a, as a perfect football player, right? So, I mean, you you coaches, you are professionals at finding the things that guys need to improve on as good as they were. What did you talk to them about needing to improve upon other than staying on the field, obviously, and, and uh, you know, being able to play through some things? What were some technical things? What are some things you noticed on film looking back at last season? Say, guys, we need to we need to get better at this. Well, certainly we play a lot of man. So there, the, you're never perfect in, in a coverage. There's always something wrong. So you all, you're, you're finding those things, those little things that we're just trying to correct. You know, we play some zone defenses, and, and some techniques were not very good. So in those things, we, we exaggerated those in spring ball and spent time with the, on, on those kind of things. So you just find what you're not strong at, and you work work at it, but don't leave out the rest of the stuff either. Mm-hmm. And that's it's just I think I think everybody kind of does it in their own work way, right? Give me an idea of, of how it works now. Now that you have more guys who have seen the field, more guys that maybe you have more confidence in because they've seen the field. Um, you know, because you, you got a couple corners, you got, I mean, Vert can be a nickel. You can, I mean, do you bring someone in off the bench to be a nickel and leave those guys on the outside? What, what's your thought process there as you head into fall ball? Well, well all three, David, LeVert, B. Watt, all three of those guys can play and play all, you know, both outside and inside. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you're very, I'm comfortable there mm-hmm. with, with that thought. Okay, can Ambry go inside? You know, you're just trying to, Figure out because he he's certainly growing and playing better outside. Mm-hmm. So that, can he play inside? You know we got Casey Hughes coming in, mm-hmm. the, the transfer from Utah. Uh, haven't seen him play live, but certainly seen him uh, in, in the workouts. And you know wow, the kid moves great. He looks great. He's strong. So we we've just got from spring ball we've evaluated and we know pretty much where we want to go. Casey kind of throws a little wrinkle in it, a good wrinkle, mm-hmm. um, a good wrinkle. Because because it seems now we've got more depth, mm-hmm. you know. Casey's going to add value, you know. Josh Metellus, uh, um, Tyree, mm-hmm. you know. So you take those three guys and you mesh them in, and you mesh them in with the corners. Those those first four, David Vert, B. Watt, and, and Ambry, you got some talented kids. Mm-hmm. So it's it's exciting. You know, you were really you really harped on something as good as the defense was last year. I remember talking to you. Uh, in the spring, after the spring, you said big plays, big plays. I mean, you guys really, really dissected those and felt like there were there were too many. Yeah, last year. you know, I, and I called them lapses. I talked to our guys about it. You know, we had nine lapses in uh, thirteen games. We only recovered from four of those lapses. Five of those lapses we never recovered, and we lost games. You know, we we can't afford, especially now with, with with this defensive unit we're going to bring into the 2018 season. Can't have them. Mm-hmm. We can't have them. And if it does happen, you got to come back quick and stop it. And, you know, in four games we were able to do that. In five we weren't. We we just let the laps build, and mm-hmm. we, it was like we weren't even there at times. You know, and uh, we, we just we've we've got to eliminate those. No big plays, uh, and 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 just let let our players go play the way they can play. And and now that th- this group with this experience, this this year, that <laughs> I'm looking forward to watching them play. I really am. All right. So from a you know this this unit, I mean you you lose a guy like. Mo Hurst, and you know you don't come back and say you know this guy's going to be Mo Hurst, but something stuck with me when you lost all those guys to the NFL draft the year before. Don Brown said we're going to be just as good. We're going to be just you watch, and I'll be damned if you guys weren't just as good. It feels like it's not. Yeah, it feels like it wouldn't be too much to say that again. Like yeah, you lose a big time guy like Mo Hurst, but boy, you have the the potential to go out there and be just as good. Yeah, we lost him, Michael McCray. Uh... But I really think we're going to be better than we were last year. And which, which, is it just experience? I think it's the experience uh-huh. that, that lends to it. You know, and then Mike, you got a guy like Michael Dwumfor who's coming along. And he's like Mo Hurst. Mm-hmm. I mean, he gets off the rock. He creates a lot of trouble. You got Josh, uh, Josh Ross. Oh, my goodness. What a spring he had. Devin Gill, hell of a spring. You know, so you got, you got competition everywhere. 
and every everybody's fighting and scrapping, and it just helps build the team and make the defense better. Thank <laughs> you.